Welcome back to Act Local, a little series where we're travelling around in this old girl, a 1980 Toyota Coaster, trying to find local legends doing amazing things to protect the natural world. Last you saw of us, we're on the Great Ocean Road, not anymore. We jumped on a ferry, went to the Mornington Peninsula, a special little shout out to Arthur's seat and its gondola, an experience where my girlfriend Ellie, who's afraid of heights, bloody love. Now we're in Melbourne and it's f***ing cold, hence all of this. This episode is all about reusing, recycling, and getting outside. Put those three together, you get Terrarosa gear. A company bringing new life to old adventure gear by cutting up and stitching mishmash fabrics to create one of a kind recycled products. Headed up by local legend, Evan Howard, whose story doesn't start in Australia. At birth, I was Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about 18 years after that, I found myself in Australia. In that time, I started Terrarosa gear uh, because I, I love building uh, and creating and the outlet followed my passion, which was transferring to the outdoors. I, I love mountaineering, I love bike packing, I love skiing and backpacking, and you know, and all of these things overlap yeah. so much in parts of the gear. So like sleeping systems are, are a huge passion of mine. The shelters, I love designs and the shelters and all that. Really the common uh, denominator with a lot of them is gonna be the materials and where the materials come from. Uh, and yeah, I love using the recycled kind of stuff or upcycled or saving bits or modifying other bits. Where do that, does it come from? You know, are you even just finding stuff on the side of the road? Are you you're getting uh, a certain place uh, that you get all of your recycled gear? Talk, talk me through that. Yeah, there'd be, I don't know, maybe you could divide that into three-ish categories. There'd be like new recycled gear. So the materials have been created from like broken down bottles or something like that, and then created and milled into a fabric. So that's a lot of my sill polish polys and um, polyesters as well. So uh, the breathable ones that I use for sleeping bags and sleeping quilts and that sort of thing. The next one would be, yeah, like upcycling an old jacket or old ski pants or something like that. And the material is great, um, but there might be something you've blown out the knee beyond repair for, and it's no longer gonna function great as a ski pant. Um, but the rest of the material is fine. You can take those and build something smaller or put it together that creates something larger. I love that. Um, so I've teamed up with Arcteryx on that sort of stuff uh, for their rebroad program here in Australia. So I'm on a contract with them um, and it's, it's pretty much like the, uh, the athlete contract, which is cool, except instead of going and, and skiing gnarly lines, which I'd love to do, uh, although I'm not very good, <laughs> um, it'd be very dangerous. I get to build gear uh, from their, um, uh, for their upcycling program, which they've called the Rebird. I get a lot of their warranty stuff, like old jackets and um, these things that, you know, have memories in them. Um, so here's now a bike bag, uh, original zip from one of the pockets, creating a little pocket on the front of this one. Um, and then that just opens up. So, you know, you see, you get these materials. That's the original Napoleon logo up the top there on the, on the breast. Uh, and it's, you know, how can I capture the essence of what this jacket was and the, the adventures that it has had and then put it into a new bit of gear. Endless opportunity because of these amazing materials that are coming in from, from them that are, uh, you know, end of life, but still can have a life in something else. That third one would be crazy things like you find on the side of the road or, you know, an old sleeping bag that is still got some goods, you might wash it and then you can decide if you use it straight up or if you're gonna recycle it or, uh, or sorry, upcycle that one. Uh, and then that might come back into uh, category two there. So yeah, I try to not cut up things that are still good and still have a life in what they are. Uh, but once a jacket's totally haggard, mm. then boom, now it can become some hats. It can become, God, what else? Some bags of some sort, the pockets, the zips, those are all good. Take those, put those onto other things. Um, so, and that's, that's not a hard thing um, to do, yeah. Oh, there's some hats kicking around here too. There's one. So again, old jacket. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Original. That's so that so again, fun. original zip brings back so many memories for me because I had I had a couple XCR jackets that like, you know, how many times did you nearly die in those? <laughs> nearly die in those. What did he say? <laughs> you know, like, oh man, like by mistakes as you're learning or like, you know, a rock fall or something like phew, the rock like whistles past you. Like, the main reason why we wanted to get you on was because you are upcycling and recycling and and there's a, obviously a, a massive element about that is caring for the environment. Why do you think it's important to do these sorts of things as opposed to just buying something new or going on, I don't know, Alibaba or whatever and just making the product that you wanted in the first place? Mm. Yeah, first place. I'm trying to make a more 
difficult question out of why do you care about the environment? Short answer is, well, it's it's everything. The yeah. environment is everything for us, of course. Like it's also my playground, uh, as it is so many others too, right? And I love being there and it's, it's just, Things will change and the environment will change. I, I can accept that, but at the pace and in the way that some of it's doing with the climate change and the man-made effects, that's that's hard to uh, that's hard to stomach and it's hard to be a part of that time mm. and not try and do something. And, and I can't do very much on the big scale, but this is the one little thing that I like to do and it brings me a happiness to create and it brings me a happiness to uh, that I enjoy building these things for people to go out into these areas and use. Um, and if it can be a slightly more positive effect than building it from new materials, then of, of course, that, that's great. And we're all going to live and we're all going to have a footprint, um, you know, that, that's, that's not going to change. So if this is something that for Terra Rosa gear, I can just minimize that footprint a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more, then hopefully all of that helps towards something in the long term. And if that outlook doesn't sum up what Act Local is all about, I don't know what does. Like Terra Rosa uh, is a glacier actually in Canada. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Um, that. Yeah, so that, that's the nomenclature here. And it's a place I learned to climb and had some wonderful, amazing adventures. And uh, it really instilled the love of those sort of environments in me. And that glacier is like in my lifetime, it might no longer exist, yeah, right? And it, it's, it's heartbreaking. This gear is made with a purpose, that purpose is to go out and be used. And if we lose the areas where the gear is supposed to be used. Ooh, what's the point of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's, there's no reason. Other than looking cool down Burke yeah. Street. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For sure, go full Gorp core. Yeah. I absolutely love Evan's outlook on DIY, getting outside and reusing and recycling products to make new products. It's amazing to see things that were destined for landfill get a new life and Evan's doing exactly that. And I'm inspired to do like that. I grabbed a bunch of free stuff to fit out the old bus in here and it doesn't look too bad, I guess. If you want to see the insides of this bus, go and watch another episode. It's sprinkled throughout. If you know a local legend doing amazing things to protect our natural world, drop a line down in the comments and we'll hunt them down and c*** 